it basically looks like a torture device and it's terrible but in the long run it, it's worth the six months of however hellish it is I'm Scott Ferguson and when I was born uh, the doctor found out pretty immediately that there was something definitely not normal about my uh, right leg um, in both length and ankle composition, I guess. Um, something was definitely very off, as well as having four toes with two fused together. When I was seven, um, I had my first surgery on my ankle to try and fix the uh, rolling over problem I had due to the uh, ball and socket joint as opposed to the square joint. And so uh, they took a bone graft from my shin and tried to fuse it properly into my ankle. And it, this worked for a while, but eventually just reverted back to the way it was. With my first surgery, since it was just a regular cast, <laughs> um, it, a lot of people just didn't even realize it was anything like operation-wise. They might've just thought I broke my leg. But when I was 11 in, in grade six, a lot of the uh, kids were really freaked out by the uh, metal frame. The fact that I'm walking around on it with stitches exposed and just, it was nasty. I, I even tried to hide it as much as I could. I had pants that were basically specially made to fit it underneath. So I basically just covered it up the entire time because I, I would just get looks from kids and they didn't, they never said anything, but you could just kind of tell they were freaked out. I was involved in a lot of sports, like uh, soccer, baseball, lacrosse, ball hockey, tennis, basically everything. And after that first operation, I was just never really able to do anything as well again, just because it, it wasn't worth the pain. It wasn't fun anymore. So, I mean, that kind of killed most uh, sports and such for me. My family was pivotal in all of this. I mean, my mom was actually the person who had to clean my uh, pin sites twice a day for six months straight, and her strength really helped me get through it. Um, I know it was ridiculously hard for her to do that because the cleaning of the pin sites, I would a lot of the time just be screaming or biting a towel to stop myself from. And she had to go through that twice a day for six months. The only advice I would have was just try and stay strong. I mean, it's terrible, but in the long run, it, it's worth the six months of however hellish it is to have a leg that's somewhat normal. I mean, you're, ne you're never gonna be normal, but at least you can get close. <laughs>